Welcome to the Medora Corporation Whiteboard Series, Everything Lake, where we answer commonly asked questions about lakes, reservoirs, and ponds, and how Solar Bee Grid Bee equipment works to improve their overall water quality. Many people ask us, how does a solar bee circulate a lake? Hopefully this video will help you understand a little bit better the flow patterns created by solar bee circulation equipment for cyanobacteria control. And it all starts with a lake. Lakes tend to form temperature layers in the hot summer months. Generally, every lake will quote unquote split into two sections determined by a layer of water where a large temperature difference occurs. The layer where the split takes place is most commonly referred to as the thermocline. The water column above the thermocline is called the epilimnium and is warmer and less dense. The water below the thermocline is called the hypolimnium and is cooler and more dense. This is an important lake characteristic because the thermocline acts as a very significant barrier to mixing between the epilimnium and the hypolimnium. The good news for cyanobacteria control is we only have to focus on the top warmer water to be effective. But being aware and mindful of the thermocline is important when setting the solar bee intake. So let's start circulating. You'll see the solar bee intake is set just above the thermocline. As the machine begins operation, it starts to pull water from longer and longer distances at the depth where the intake is set. The water enters the intake traveling about one foot per second, and once it reaches the surface, the distribution dish starts to direct long distance near laminar flow radially away from the solar bee. This is known as direct flow. Once direct flow is established, the induced flow patterns begin to take shape. A portion of the induced flow will travel upward along the machine but outside the draft tube and meet up with the direct flow near the surface, again traveling long distances. Other induced flow is created throughout the water column as water is circulated to and from the solar bee machine. The total flow, direct and induced, makes for a very efficient mix throughout the epilimnetic water column. For more information how solar bee lake circulators can help make your lake water better, please contact us at 866-437-8076 or through our website www.medorico.com. Thanks for watching.